Hello, everyone. This is Spike Lee, the producer, writer, director of Do the Right Thing. This past June was a 30th anniversary of this film. I know the column is called Anatomy of a Scene. I'm renaming this. I'm calling this Anatomy of a Murder. The chokehold of Ray Rahim, played by the late great Bill Nunn, my Morehouse brother, was based upon the death of Michael Stewart. September 1983, Michael Stewart, a graffiti artist, he's about as big as I am. 11 New York City Transit Police jumped on him and strangled our brother to death. That's where I got the idea for the chokehold murder of Ray Rahim. And five years ago, Eric Gardner died the same way that Ray Rahim did in a movie, but was based upon the real life chokehold of Michael Stewart. So a lot of things in this film that even though it was written 31 years ago, are still happening today. Black and brown people are still being murdered today by police forces across the United States of America and the people who inflict this death walk free. Don't get fired, don't get suspended. The film takes place one day, the hottest day of the summer in the People's Republic of Brooklyn, New York. So tensions have risen all throughout the day. And the reason why it looks the way it is, because the edict, the command to Ernest, the DP, the Wynn Thomas, the production designer, Ruth Carter, the council designer, Here's what I told him. I said, look, I want people to be sweating in an air conditioning theater when they see this film. And what we wanted to do is after he destroys the boombox, it's quiet, like the calm before a storm. Everybody's like, what's next? Everybody knows it's going to be bad. Everybody's looking around. Rahim, I mean, that was personal. It's like he got beat with the baseball bat because you've seen him the whole film with his boombox blasting public enemies to fight the power. We did not have a very good stunt coordinator and people got hurt. Danny Ello's son, Danny Jr., was his father's double right here. This film was shot on one block in Bedford Stuyvesant. That one block got renamed Do the Right Thing Way. The only street in the history of New York City named after a movie. Well, we gotta show that, number one, South St. Pizzeria is on, on the corner of the block, directly opposite the Korean fruit and vegetable stand. So, the fracas, spilled out from South and Pizzeria to the street. So we had to show the block getting involved. Fight! Smokey! We wanted to start down and, and crane up so you could see the block. And this becomes a brouhaha. Ozzy trying to talk some sense the Love Hate Rings, which is a homage to Night of the Hunter. Robert Mitchum had him tattooed on his fingers. Now the cops come. Now we've already seen these two cops already. That's Rick on the left. That's Rick Allo, Danny's son. And Sandoval played the other cop, Miguel Sandoval. Now you know. If there's a fight, who are they going to grab? So this is a very hard scene to shoot. And for 31 years, it's been a hard scene to watch.
This is the Michael Stewart chokehold. And when that Eric Garner thing happened, I put in my Instagram and Facebook with my editor, Barry Brown, where we cut back and forth between Ray Raheem and Eric Garner. And it's, it's the same thing. And then when he falls, we laid the camera down on the street. So he would fall right into the lens. <laughs>